Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you guys again. We are down here with my carrier furnace. I'm going to be showing you guys the three month update and review on my HDX FPR9 furnace filter. Uh, I made a video for you guys previously talking about this filter and a couple other filter types and the reasons you might want to be checking your furnace filters very often and then once it comes time to change them out change them out as well so quickly here we're going to go in and grab out our old furnace filter which is mine is located right here some of you guys might have yours up in uh the ceiling especially for you uh newer home or new construction uh type people out there yours is probably uh, in the ceiling but for me I have an older house and my furnace uh, filter is located at the bottom so the most important thing is that I want to make note of for you guys is don't always go with the highest FPR uh, FPR rating because that might be doing more harm than good to your furnace um, and it actually may be costing you a little bit more money too as well so you want your furnace to flow efficiently and you want it to flow clean um, i have a pet myself wife and a kid we're bringing in dust pollen dander dirt whatever and all that has to get filtered out and put back into our air for in our in our homes so that the heart of the air quality in your home is going to be your furnace always pumping out hot or cold air to you one of the most important things for you guys to remember is don't always go with the highest FPR9 rating. Just because it's a higher rating, it says it's uh, better, doesn't mean it's better for your situation. So always read your furnace filters instruction manual and always just give a look. Uh, and I mean not look at your furnace, but a, a look at your air quality. Um, is your bill rising or is it lowering uh is it hard to breathe in your home so two little signs right there is an indication of air restriction in uh your furnace filter so you might want to lower the grade of your fpr filter because uh, what you don't want to happen is you don't want your furnace being restricted because you have a too high number of um, FPR rating filter so you want your furnace to flow efficiently and you want it to flow clean air and sometimes if you guys are going just off of the FPR number the higher rating number the higher the number the better if you're thinking like that it may not always be the case and it may be costing you money some place down the line or it may be costing you money already and you don't know it yet or you haven't looked at your bill in a while but the reason for that is you might have a too high of a FPR rating filter and you might be causing stress to your furnace. Your furnace may be struggling to pump air through that filter, causing your filter or causing your furnace, excuse me, to work even harder, which is rising your bill up. So that's something to look out for as well. The next thing is your arrows uh, to which way you're putting in your filter. Um, they're usually on all the tops so mine is right here so you want to place your filter in the correct way um, that's another huge thing with furnaces make sure making sure you're putting in your filter the correct way so that air flows through it properly if you put it in the wrong way that causes restriction so that's another thing right there again going right back to constriction now to check real quick to make sure you're putting it in the right way is to just look up at your outlet lines so mine are right here all of these lines right here go out and up into my house to feed uh, all of my rooms in my house and that's how you know which way your air is flowing so all you do is look up at your tubes and reverse yourself back and down so wait all right now i know my air fl is flowing from left to right here up and then out to my house so i know my arrow on my new filter the way i put it back in should be going pointing this way for airflow so that's a real quick 
tip right there for you guys. So let's go ahead and get out this old filter. Let's examine it and compare it next to a new filter and see how we did and put in our new filter. All right, so here is our old filter right here. Uh, not a whole lot of debris on it. It is darker in color, and that's exactly what you want to see on this back side here. We do have a lot more dust buildup, and this is pretty much what you want to see when you're ready to go ahead and change out your furnace filter. So you don't want it to get any worse than this. This is our three month change out, so our three months of maintenance, three months of running the furnace, and this is what we got here. So let's compare it to our new I went ahead and put on my Yankee Candle scent to get the house smelling real good. So as you can see right there, we do have obviously a color difference of the brand new and the old. So let's check out the back side as well. So again, there's the back side of the old. The back side of the old and the new. So we picked up a good amount of dust and dirt in this filter. So I can definitely tell this FPR9 is doing a very good job uh, for my home and my furnace, my carrier furnace. So let's go ahead and stick in our new filter, get the old one out of the way. And remember, make sure your airflow arrow is going the correct way. Our airflow is going from left to right. So our arrow is gonna be pointing to the right. Let's go ahead and get this installed here. All mine does is slide right in. And just like that, very quick and easy, we changed our furnace filter. So again, this is the HDX FPR9 Superior Allergen furnace filter, good for up to 90 days. I typically change mine a little bit before 90 days, but I definitely wanted to make this three month video for you guys uh, to update you on how good this filter actually was. And I am very happy with what it's doing with my furnace and for my home. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.